let g dot be a group and h be a subset of g then h is a subgroup of g if a b are two elements of h implies a b belongs h for all a belongs h a inverse also belongs to h a b belongs to h implies a b inverse belongs to h and in option d a b in ball a b in h then b inverse a inverse in h after seeing options you can directly tick the answer c but uh, other options why fail you should know this one because if we are picking any two elements then all four properties will be satisfied for a part for a group closure associative identity and inverse if a star or any other operation is given it is binary operation there is no need to check closure property because saying that uh, binary operation we say uh, operation a binary operation whenever it satisfy closure property otherwise not if it is simple and operation then we need to check closure property otherwise there is no need to check but here dot a is a operation and uh, normally because uh, j dot is a group so it is binary operation and it will satisfy for but is now h is a subset of g and uh, we check or say h is a, h will be a subgroup of g when h has same operation induced on h induced on g so for option a if we are picking two elements from h implies that ab belongs h it is only closure property satisfied here but not inverse and identity element we cannot satisfied using this condition so option a is not uh, necessary part for option b if for all if a in h then a inverse belongs h means for each element have inverse in h so we can say h is a subgroup no because of we can't prove closure property closure property because of elements are coming from g it doesn't mean they will satisfy closure property yes they will satisfy closure property but uh, it may be identity they cannot uh, prove using only this condition option c is correct and uh, we know that uh, option c is one step test for subgroup now where is option d is fail if a b are in h then b inverse a inverse also h it means that this uh, property is saying elements have closure property elements satisfying closure property but particularly we say closure property for all elements but uh, they are combining only inverse element suppose a, a inverse b and this is element uh, another element c suppose this is h if we are picking an element a and b then b inverse a inverse in h but if we are taking a and c then according to this condition c inverse a inverse in h but c inverse is not present in this set so closure property partially satisfied here but not uh, for all elements so only a correct option is c